creep first good morning afternoon or evening whenever you guys are tuning in and creeping with me i love you for it it is early we are currently here on the springwater corridor we're heading into southeast for something special if you guys aren't familiar or you are travel oregon has done a really great job of trying to bring folks to oregon with these awesome commercials you may have seen them they're running a lot of the ads in front of a lot of the youtube videos we're going to go check out one of the filming locations it's pretty cool it's almost like jim henson meets stop motion animation kind of thing i'll tell you more when we get into southeast and also one of my favorite pizza places that's no longer we're going to reminisce about hammy's pizza stay tuned it's a little overcast it's going to be a great day there's a goat behind me <laughs> we're doing some creeping yeah it's a little overcast but that's not going to stop us from doing a little creeping, isn't it, goat? Yeah, we got our little goat friend here this morning. Chickens are barking. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. Stay tuned. Clear skies up ahead. I thought I'd stop in right quick. We've been on the opposite side of this not too long ago. This is the entrance here to Pal Butte. Welcome to the largest natural area on Portland's east side. Yep, lots of different wildlife, hawks, frogs, bees, all the different wildflowers. Yeah, it's pretty up in here. I kind of always forget how gorgeous and lush it is here in Oregon. And when it rains, that's, you know, that's what keeps us green. We'll bike up in here sometime. All right, heading into Southeast. Cutting through the neighborhoods. These guys have got their house all decked out with some spring-like skellies. <laughs> that's hilarious. Hawthorne now very artsy neighborhood and throughout the whole neighborhood are these telephone poles that people put their flyers on and whatnot and the reason why I'm showing you this one is because kind of movie magic Hollywood magic where we're going the pole that they use is actually not there it was a uh, well I'll tell you more when we get up here closer to where that little scene for travel Oregon took place lock the creeper cruiser up we are here on Hawthorne and just like Portland Oregon classic rain and sunshine at the same time but right across the street here sits the beautiful Baghdad theater which I absolutely love there neon and there's a couple other buildings we're gonna be able to see from that commercial that they filmed yeah, Travel Oregon, just in the last few years, has done a great job of really showcasing a lot of Portland. And this being Southeast, kind of a really hot spot, Hawthorne Avenue, where a lot of shopping and art and all kinds of things take place. It's kind of the happening spot. And right here, where we just are at on the corner, is the Baghdad Theater, where they host a lot of movies and whatnot. So... Travel Oregon, like I said, has done a lot to really bring folks into Portland and show, you know, Oregon's surroundings and how beautiful it is. And by doing so, they've created these little like puppets, almost like, I don't know, maybe like a Jim Henson meets stop motion animation style. Um, and they've created all these characters, including a beaver and also a telephone pole. <laughs> 
which is very well seen all throughout Portland Southeast more specifically and people put their flyers so the pole that they chose to use for that commercial and I think they all have names I think the pole is actually named Poli but this would have been actually the pole that they used and how I was able to find it is because during that commercial if you just look directly above it you can see all this here the Baghdad theater all the neon and also these all these buildings over here make the shot as well so kind of blurred out in the actual commercial but if you look closely you can see all these buildings make the shot and then just kind of a glimpse of the Baghdad neon there but yeah that all happened right here Hawthorne Southeast Portland so really in that shot they would have it would have been a little bit closer because if they would have used this telephone pole it kind of sat back a little bit farther and you can actually see where you know the signage for the actual movie theater kind of as it kind of sticks out it would have been like more so like right here but nonetheless you see them all up and down southeast portland yeah i'm just gonna have to get online and check it out and see what the characters names are they did a few including a beaver and a telephone pole but i think that's pretty dang cool that that all happened right here a very very popular part of southeast portland that really started pouring and kind of ducking out underneath these awnings but i was just talking with one of the workers here and they said that they actually utilized one of the buildings in the back here too for the production of that shot so maybe they put some of the cameras in and, and things like that around the corner that way they could utilize it for that commercial but yeah the closest pull would have been basically this one here and that's one sits a little bit farther than what you would have seen in that commercial but nonetheless, pretty dang cool to see all of that at Portland in a very, very, very famous spot here with all the different neon. We got Nick's famous Coney Island, Rudy's Barbershop, Fred Meyers over here, and a bunch of businesses, including the Baghdad. Pretty neat. Yeah, their neon is so cool looking. What a neat place. Fun fact, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest was filmed in Salem, Oregon and all around Oregon, but the opening very first premiere was at Baghdad Theater as well. Yeah, pretty much all these buildings right here and the opposite side here where we just were makes the shot. You would have seen, like I said, the telephone pole basically in that commercial looked like it sat a little bit closer. So obviously it was, you know, Hollywood movie magic, but you know, pretty dang cool and that's definitely a very iconic piece of Portland with all the telephone poles and the flyers and everything that one was a little cleaner than most of the poles around here <laughs> but pretty neat yeah I got some blue skies finally too speaking of flyers and poles kind of into our next stop here it's pizza week here in Portland Portland Mercury does it take on all the different places around town and then they kind of review them the hammies was always in there for sure pizza week sounds good and we've got some sort of album here with Alf and a bunch of cats <laughs> nice got some blue sky got here to southeast Kind of obstructed by the other sign there, but this is Southeast Clinton. Got the little bike up there. Because this is a neighborhood greenway that they've designated a certain area for the bikes. So you see a lot of folks biking through here. The cars still come through here, but they they know that the roads are painted and whatnot. But yeah, it got nice. All right, heading down to, I believe, 21st. Got these beautiful cherry blossoms here. And yeah, as stated, this is the neighborhood greenway, so folks go a little slower. And thankfully that was there, because I had to use it. <laughs> Too much coffee. All right, our next stop brings us here to well, so we're still on Southeast Clinton, but to this big gray building here, which once sat one of my favorite pizza places here in Portland of all time was Hammy's Pizza, located right here. I think it's 2114, that's 2112. 
And what was cool about them is you could order pizza until like four in the morning. I think they delivered up until 4 a.m. And their pizza was really good. I actually found some old, you know, pictures of whatnot when this was still hammies. But yeah, I'm not sure what it is, what they're utilizing it now for, but this was definitely the spot for some good pie. And they are really missed, especially since I worked late at night in Southeast. And then, you know, everything would be closed up at like, you know, right after the bars closed at 2.33, there's like pretty much nothing open, but these guys still delivered. And they had some really cool names too on their pizzas. It was like, what was the one? Kept the Kevin Bacon, which was ham, Canadian bacon and bacon. And then we used to joke and say, and Kevin Bacon delivers it. <laughs> but yeah, it was a great pizza joint. It's too bad. I'm not sure what's what they're utilizing it for you know for now these days but hammy's pizza right here on clinton erased from existence i'll enter some of those pictures though somebody's cooking some good food this might be the new building or you know the new proprietor but yeah hammy's pizza i'm gonna go knock on the door real quick and ask them what they're utilizing it for but in that picture my buddy scott campbell actually did some paintings for them too it was like a moon with glasses kind of like a mac tonight looking thing and then of course they had their hammy's pizza up top here somebody's in there i'm gonna go knock and see what this is now these guys were cool and they just give me some info they actually utilize the kitchen now for other businesses around uh southeast portland yeah yep. so Forgot. that's cool how long ago did hammy's close uh shit i think probably like 10 years five five, years five ten years ago yeah we used to order up at like 4 a.m and get their their pizza yeah. but yeah, hey bro thanks for sharing that info yeah, i day. didn't mean to put you on spot i was oh, just wondering what the heck and it smelled so good i was like awesome. and it so that must be your guys's yeah, yeah. that's your, okay that's what i figured hey bro nice to meet yeah, you i just knocked on the door real quick and he came out he said it's kind of like a ghost kitchen now so they just prep orders for all the local businesses around southeast portland it smells so good so yeah, that's cool. At least they're still utilizing the kitchen. But I sure do miss Hammy's Pizza. Maybe it just hit different because it was like three in the morning. But there you have it. The last, well, one of the best pizza places to have done it in Portland. Again, this is uh, Southeast Clinton and 21st. Pretty neat area. All right, moving on. One last look at the old hammies. Sun back out. Back behind the church now. I never realized this was back here right underneath this beautiful cherry tree. Is this statue of Jesus? Wow, that is gorgeous. He's got the cherry blossoms in his hand there. Wow, that's gorgeous right now. The sun coming out. That's pretty. Yeah, never knew never realized this was back here. That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll dial you into being a creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace.